I want to talk to you about letting go of the fancy, unimportant shit. And the reason I want to talk to you about this is actually directly correlated to this video because it's going to be a little meta. I'm going to talk about YouTube a little bit as an example. In my business, which if you want to know more about that, I teach songwriters who have full-time jobs how to become their own music producers in 90 days. You can click below, check the main video on my channel. When I run my business, really simple how I do it. I honestly, I like run paid ads on Instagram, get followers, DM them, book calls. And for those of you who want to enroll in it, you can. And I have a call to talk to you about if it's the right fit. And if it's not the right fit, that's chill. But I do really well with that. And I love helping songwriters do that. And I've been like really stressing about YouTube. Like I want to make, get clients from YouTube and I want to grow from YouTube. I'll be honest with you. I've been spending a lot of time, energy, and attention on trying to do YouTube better. When the truth is, it does not help my business at all. What helps my business about YouTube is posting on YouTube and bringing value and showing up consistently. But like the fancy edits, I mean, the thumbnails are cool like that. I mean, that does help. They're five bucks. But to be spending 100, 150, 200 bucks per video to get them fancy edits, it's like, uh, does it really, in the grand scheme of things, help my business that much? Not really. Not really. And I think with music, what's really interesting is we look at a lot of different things that we think are cool and fancy, and they try to help our music when they really don't. Like, for example, when I produce music, I use my computer, my keyboard on my computer, my microphone, my audio interface, obviously, and headphones, and that's it. I I have a MIDI key I have a MIDI keyboard, but I don't use it. I have speakers, don't use them. I don't have a fancy preamp. Uh, I don't have a mixing board. I don't have a bunch of fancy shit. And I've produced and released songs that have gotten one of my videos. Watch me, one hundred and ten thousand views. It's about to have one hundred and ten thousand views on YouTube. I've had another one of my songs called "Necesito Que Regreses" get twenty six thousand streams. And I've helped over forty songwriters become their own music producers in ninety days. Why the fuck do I need all that fancy shit? You don't. You don't. And the microphone I have is like five hundred dollar mic. It's not a big super fancy. And for a long, long, long time, I was using a hundred dollar mic off Amazon. Like you don't need fancy shit. And I think the biggest problem that musicians have is we want to try to get fancy and do all this fancy shit, but then not actually produce what's important. What you need to do is you need to put out a high quantity of high quality songs End of discussion. And you don't need a lot of things that you think you need to do that. You really don't. You don't. There's so many examples out there like Russ who does not have fancy equipment. I mean, maybe now he does, but when he blew himself up, he didn't have fancy gear and fancy equipment. All he had was his laptop speakers. That was it. There's actually literally a video of Russ making his song what they want to use his keyboard on his computer. That inspired me so much to see that. And it's made me realize that like, dude, a lot of the stuff that we look at as musicians, like does not matter. You don't need a ton of gear. You don't need years of experience. You don't even need to know how to play music. Like you don't need to know music theory to be able to fully produce your own songs. Like I have so many clients who they don't know how to do any of that stuff. I've had clients come into my academy, never have made a song before. And they end up dropping songs. Carlos came in, never had made a song within five weeks, produced, wrote and recorded his first song. And since then he's now dropped two songs. Like, from what we learned in the academy and he's produced them, mixed and mastered them. Ryan B just took like a seven year break from music because he just quit. He was fed up with the music and working with producers and relying on people who had a bunch of fancy shit, but weren't actually helping him get songs done. And in 90 days, he produced like 30 instrumentals. He produced, wrote and recorded five songs and has already dropped, I believe three songs this year. So it's like, dude, you don't need the fancy stuff. My client, Ange, college student, 20 years old. She came into my academy and she used to only produce, like she would, she, it took her like three months to make a song. In the first two months, she made two songs, meaning blank Logic Pro to making the beat, writing, recording, mixing, mastering. And then she transitioned to being just a producer. And like, it's so funny because she now, gets paid to produce for other people. 
She did 4.6K in February and now just crossed five, over 5K in in uh, March. In Q1, she's made over 10K as a producer from what we've learned working together. No fancy shit. Laptop, microphone, headphones, like nothing fancy. And she's making a living as a 20-year-old in college. Like this is her side gig for right now because she adopted the mindset of not doing fancy shit. And I'm going to post this video and I literally don't give a fuck how many views I get because it's getting to a point for me where I'm like, dude, like I've had so many dealings. Like I'm not going to go too far off this path, but I've had so many dealings with people, service providers, video editors, music producers who just want to do fancy shit and fuck up the whole project. And it's so annoying. Like, not music producers as much recently because I produce my own music. I don't deal with that. But, like, video editors, like, bro, I'm just like, <laughs> bro, like, what are you doing? And they're just fucking up the relationship they have with me because they're getting too fancy. And I'm not a fancy guy. Like, I'm not. I'm professional, but I'm not fancy. I don't care about that fancy shit, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm a regular, degular dude from the neighborhood in the Bay area. Like that's really me. I'm not a, I'm not a fancy guy. I don't fuck with that. And if you're a fancy person, like you care more about getting, oh my bad. You care more about getting fancy and you care all about this other appearance and all this bullshit and branding and your aesthetic. Like we need to elevate your brand. It's like, fuck off with that, bro. Like you're not about it. You don't make a lot of money. You can tell you're not successful. You're not putting out product. Like you ain't about it. And I don't fuck with that. I'm an action taker and I and I only want to work with people who care about taking action and getting great music out there. It doesn't have to do with being fancy. So I hope you liked this video. If you don't, I don't give a fuck anymore because it doesn't have fancy editing. I'm just in my car waiting to pick up my wife from work and I just felt like getting this message off. Like I literally don't care anymore. So I hope you like it. My journey is going to continue to be documented pretty similarly to this. So if you do like this style, Awesome. Subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, fuck off.